Alright, Assalamualaikum. Hi. Um, so today I will show you to solve the problems regarding the dual combustion engine. Um, some people call this as a modern diesel engine, but the idea is uh, in terms of the uh, heat addition process, we improve it and then uh, produce a better combustion process. So let's check out this question. An ideal dual cycle. Okay, so this is dual cycle. <coughs> with an air as the working fluid has a compression ratio of 18 so this is your rv and a cutoff ratio of 1.3 this is your rc cut off the pressure ratio during the constant volume heat addition is 1.1 the pressure ratio is 1.1 so this is your rp it occurs during the constant volume process uh, constant volume heat addition process at the beginning of the compression process the air temperature is at 35 degrees celsius the mass of air throughout the cycle is 0 0.1 kg all right so now the first thing that you need to do when you get this question also sketch to uh, sketch the pv diagram all right so the pv diagram is very common when you know this is the dual cycle you must know that you must have five states okay instead of diesel and also auto cycle you only have four states so the first state this uh, correspond to the V1 okay uh, this is an isentropic process until it state it reach the state 2 followed by the constant volume process this is state 3 and then followed by the constant pressure process state 4 and then goes back to sorry go to state 5 isentropic process and then goes back to state one to complete the cycle okay so you know that this kind of cycle basically have a uh, two uh, mode of heat addition the first one from two to three this is your q in one this is uh, during the constant volume process and the second one is during the constant volume constant pressure process eh? three to four so this is p3 equal to p4 okay so and then your heat rejection is from a uh, state uh, 5 to state 1 okay this is your q out occurred during the constant volume process so every, each time you face the dual cycle you must know that this is the only diagram that represent the dual cycle five states two mode of heat addition and also one heat rejection so now list out all of the information from the question so given in the question um, the compression ratio of 18 rv equal to v1 over v2 equal to 18 and then um, rc cutoff ratio equal to uh, 1.3 so okay remember the cutoff ratio for the dual cycle is a little bit different with the diesel cycle so the cutoff ratio must occur during the uh, constant pressure process okay compression ratio cut off ratio okay so this is during the uh, heat addition uh, second heat addition which is during constant pressure process v4 over v3 so this is equal to 1.3 uh, okay while the pressure ratio rp hmm, is equal to v3 uh, over v2 uh, sorry this is the pressure difference p3 over p2 1.1 okay all right so uh, some uh, students make mistake eh, confused for the rc because uh, maybe they refer back to the diesel cycle diesel cycle the formula is v3 over v2 because uh, diesel cycle no uh, constant volume uh, process okay that's why uh, the cut off ratio must occur during the constant pressure okay so now is a look at another information um, the beginning of the compression process the air temperature is at 35 so this is your t1 given as 35 degrees celsius then need to convert into kelvin to 73 plus 35 this is equal to um, 308 kelvin So it is in the information, the mass of air throughout the cycle is 0 
m equal 0.1 kg then do we have another information mm, no all right so given cp given k you can find the value of cv and also r easily okay now uh, as a previous uh, uh, or uh, when you deal with a gas as a problem you need to know that you must find the temperature at each of the points so that you can find the heat addition heat rejection also work produced by this kind of cycle okay but, uh, since this equation also does not mention about to find the pressure at each point so now you only need to focus to find the temperature here so now at step one given t1 equal to 0 308 kelvin so we jump to state 2 to find T2. So the process from 1 to 2 is isentropic. So you can use uh, T2, sorry. T1 V1 power of K minus 1 equal T2 V2 power of K minus 1. So T2 equal to T1 V1 power of V2 v1 over v2 power of k minus 1 okay so since we know that this is uh, the compression ratio t1 r v power of k minus 1 just put the value here as 308 multiply with 18 multiply uh, the power of k minus 1 1.4 minus 1 okay so just punch your calculator and get the answer for t2 18 uh, power of 0 0.4 multiply with 308 so you get here 978.7 Kelvin all right so this is your T2 and then you need to find your T3 state 3 so in order to find state 3 look back the process from 2 to 3 what is the process so if you confuse or you forgot you can look back on your diagram 2 to 3 is a constant volume process okay so v2 equal to v3 during this process so if you know that there is a isochoric you can look uh, use back the equation from 2 to 3 don't ever use the isentropic process eh, for this 2 to 3 because it is wrong okay so since this is a constant volume you can uh, cancel out v2 and v3 since this, this value is constant so you left with t2 p3 t2 and t3 so your target is to find t3 so you just rearrange t3 equal t2 times p3 over p2 okay so we do have the t2 value we already calculated 978.7 how about p3 over p2 do we have here all right so that basically is your pressure ratio eh, during the constant volume process so you just use t2 multiply with rt which is 1.1 so 978.7 kelvin multiply with 1.1 so this is equal to 978.7 times 1.1 sorry 6 Kelvin so now you already calculated a t4 value uh, sorry t3 this is the maximum the uh, this is the maximum temperature I think okay now uh, jump into state 4 okay so from 3 to 4 this is a what process we deal this is a constant pressure process eh? 3 to 4 p3 equal to p4 okay p3 equal to p4 so we can use the generalized equation same like the previous one from 3 to 4 okay since this is a constant pressure p3 equal to p4 we want to find t4 here so we rearrange back 
53 times um, v4 over v3, right? Okay, is that correct? d3 v4 over v3, alright. So we do have d3, how about v4 over v3? Okay, that is your cutoff ratio, eh, which is 1.3. Okay. So it doesn't matter if that is a small v or big v because this is the ratio, it will produce the same answer. So T3 multiply with uh, your cutoff ratio RC. So this is equivalent to 1076.7 um, times with your RC cutoff ratio is 1.3. Okay, again, punch your calculator again. 1076.7 multiply with 1.3 one 1399.7 one. 1399.7 one okay, that is enough okay so we only have with state 5 okay how about state 5 here so from 4 to 5 this is the isentropic process 4 to 5 so we need to use the isentropic equation you cannot use this equation because it will not help you okay so from 4 to 5 where's 5 this minus link with the isentropic equation so t5 sorry t4 v4 power of k minus 1 equal t5 v5 power of k minus 1 so we want to find t5 this is equal to t4 um, v4 over v5 power of k minus 1 okay so we do have t4 we already calculated how about v4 over v5 so we check back here v4 over v5 is there any v4 over v5 here no Okay, so this will be your problem. Same like diesel cycle, we need to solve this by applying the chain rule. Okay, so we need to find V4 over V5, which is equal to, eh, I write first here, chain rule. Okay, uh, V4 over V5 equal V4 over, so as I mentioned, you must find the nearest point for the number 4. So the nearest is the 5 or 3 so since we want to find v4 over v5 so we put here 3 as the nearest uh, value and then multiply with 3 again yeah? then this is your v5 so it will be similar like the left one here v4 over v5 so we know that v4 over v3 is your um, constant uh, sorry cut off ratio rc how about V3 and V5 here? So V3 over V5 here. Look here. V3 basically is equal to V2. V5 basically is equal to V1. So I just change the symbol uh, with another point. Eh? 3 with 2, 5 with 1. 3 with 2, 5 with 1. Okay. So look what happened here, V4 over V3 times V2 over V1. Okay, so this is your cutoff ratio, RC. How about this one? This one is your, uh, it relate with the compression ratio. So your RV basically is V1 over V2. If we want to get V2 over V1, this is just the reciprocal here, 1 over RV, which is V1 over V2. So I just change here, multiply with 1 over RV. So then you can get the value of or ratio of V4 over, over V5. Okay, so this is equal to RC, which is 1.3, if I'm not mistaken, 1.3 times 1 over 18. One point three over eighteen. So you get here zero point zero seven two 
two two okay that's just enough eh? must make sure four significant figure is maintained here so i uh, put back our value here to find t5 okay so t5 equal to t4 which is equal to 1399.7 1399.7 multiply with v4 over v5 here power of k minus 1 so v4 over v5 is 0 0.07222 power of k minus 1 so we get here One three nine nine. Sorry. Zero point zero seven two two two. Power of zero point four. Okay, and then you multiply with one three nine nine point seven. So you get here four eight nine point two Kelvin. Alright, so. That's all the temperature that we have calculated. So this is part of your answer. So now, um, you need to look back at the question. What is the question asked? The first question A asking about the amount of heat addition at constant volume. So the heat addition basically have two modes, constant volume or constant pressure. So the constant volume occurred during state 2 to state 3. Okay, so you want to find Q in 1 here from 2 to 3. So make sure the unit asks for kilojoule. So you need to find in kilojoule. So Q in 2, 3, the unit in kilojoule equal to. So since this, this is a constant volume, you start with CV. T3 minus T2. And then it asks for kilojoule. Make sure to multiply with mass. So the value of CV is given as okay, given the value of CP and also K. So you can calculate first the value of CV. So CV, sorry, start with K. The formula is K equals CP over CV. So CV equal to CP over K, 1.005 over 1.4. So this is equal to. Zero point seven one seven eight, or you just zero point seven one eight, is okay. Cause this is the typical or common value when we want to use the value of CV for A. Okay, so the unit here kilojoule per kg dot Kelvin. Just replace back here your Q in from two to three equal to mass zero point one kg. Uh, put the unit here so that you are clear. CV is 0 0.718 T3 is um, 1076.6 minus with uh, T2 978.7 okay then again calculator 1076.6 minus 978.7 equal multiply with your CV 0 0.718 multiply with 0 0.1 you get here 7.029 kilo joule okay so this is your Q in uh, at the constant volume process okay so this is done the next is uh, second question the amount of heat addition at a constant pressure so this is another another uh, question that relate with Q in so this occurred during 3 to 4 so we need to get it again in kilojoule unit so I put another pages here another page ok we want to find Q in at 3 to 4 constant pressure Q in 3, 4, you need in kilojoule again. 
so this is equal to so since this is a constant pressure process you need to use c p eh? c p so t4 minus t3 then you need in kilojoule you must multiply with the mass okay so mass is 0 0.1 kg cp is 0 1.005 kilojoule per kg dot kelvin uh, t4 is uh, 1399.7 minus t3 is uh, 1076.6 1076.6 Okay, so one three nine nine point seven minus one zero seven six point six. Sorry, uh, six. Okay, multiply with one point zero zero five. Multiply with zero point one three thirty two point four seven. Okay, this is second question also answered. Third question is a network of the cycle. Network of the cycle. Okay, so about the network of the cycle, we just to find Q net, which is Q in minus Q out. Find the Q in also Q out. So Q in basically is the summation of our previous calculation q in 2 3 and also q in 3 4 during constant volume and also constant pressure so put here 2 3 plus q in 3 4 so this is equal to 7.002 plus uh, 32.47 so this is equal to Seven point zero two plus thirty two point four seven thirty nine point four nine thirty nine point four nine kilojoule and then your Q out occurred during here yeah, five to one eh? so five to one is a constant volume process okay, five to one so put here C V because it's a constant volume so from 4 to 5 uh, sorry from 5 to 1 eh? so you need to use T5 minus T1 okay um, this is your in this is your out okay because you want to find out here but if you want to find the Q in here like this one it will be out minus in okay look at the process and then because uh, we maintain the unit in kilojoule make sure you put the mass here okay if you want to maintain kilojoule per kilogram no need to put the mass here so this is equal to 0 0.1 cv is 0 0.718 we already calculated before t5 is equal to 489.2 489.2 T1 is uh, T308 okay 308 okay put again your calculator 489.2 minus 308 multiply with 0 0.718 multiply with 0 0.1 so you get here 13.01 kilojoule now find the work net by uh, calculate the difference of the Q in and also Q out work net equal to Q in 39.49 minus 13.01 39.49 minus 13.01 26.48 
Okay. So this is your work net twenty six point four eight kilojoule. Okay. So this also answered. The last one is a uh, thermal efficiency. Okay, thermal efficiency. Hmm. For the diesel cycle, the formula for thermal efficiency all is same. Work net over Q in. So your work net is twenty six point four eight kilojoule over your Q in is thirty nine point four nine kilojoule. Okay, and then you can calculate it. 26.48 divide 39.49 you got a uh, 0.67 0.6705 or if the question asks in percentage just change into percentage so this is the thermal efficiency for the dual cycle eh, sorry uh yes this is not diesel but dual cycle okay i think already answered all of the question uh but normally uh the question in rc engine like to ask uh in uh, what is the mep yeah mep so if you want to find the mep basically it must give you the value of uh, of the pressure so that you can calculate the the volume Okay, for uh, if uh, just uh, to mention about the formula of the MEP, MEP equal to work net uh, over uh, V one minus V two. It can be also like this one. Eh? So this one is a kilojoule. This one is meter cube. It can be like smaller W divided by smaller volume. Okay, this one kilojoule per kilogram. This one is meter cube per kilogram. So your unit must be consistent as the kilojoule or per unit kilogram. Okay, so in our in our in my uh, example on uh, diesel cycle, I already show you how to get the MEP. Uh, but normally it must give you the value of the pressure to calculate uh, the volume, or it can also give you directly the vol the value of the volume okay that's all for this uh, dual cycle example thank you very much for your attention see you again assalamualaikum